Yo, yo, yo. So in this video, we will be uh, learning about the area and perimeter of circles. This is the basic level. Um, so it's really just the area and perimeter of circles and sectors and segments. If you understand, if you already understand what I'm talking and uh, you know how to do this, you should skip this video. If you don't, then let's learn something. All right. So what is a circle? Firstly, you already know what the circle is, right? You have eaten a pizza before, haven't you? So this is a circle. Okay. Now, uh, what are the things you need to know in a circle? Firstly, you need to know where the center is. This is the center. And um, this is what we call the radius. This is what we call the diameter. Okay. So uh, let me show you what is not a radius and what is not a diameter. Let's draw another circle over here. The center being here. Is this a diameter? Please, I can see you nodding your head, right? It is not the diameter. I think, I think you actually said no. Yeah, it's not the diameter. You're smart. This is not the radius. This is not the radius. It's not. It's not. Why? Because it doesn't pass through the center. Okay, the diameter and or the radius must, must pass through the center. It must touch the center and it must touch the circumference. I mean, the perimeter, I mean, the outline of the circle. Okay, so important things, circle, center. If you don't know where the center of the circle is, you don't know where the, you don't, you don't know more about the radius and you don't know where the diameter is. All right, so these are the three essential components of a circle. Now, you know what's area, right? By now, you should know that the area is the land it covers. Um, when it comes to the perimeter of, the circle, uh, of a circle, we have a special name for it. It's called circumference. Circumference is the same as the perimeter of a circle. Now, there is a small difference. I will explain it to you in the later part of this video. What is the different? What is the difference between the circumference and the perimeter? Okay. If I don't, please remind me. Oh wait, you can't. So um, let's continue. Now, again, circle. Another thing you have to know is, you know, this is the radius, right? And this is the diameter. So do you realize that the diameter is equals to two times of the radius? Yeah. Diamet basically, diameter is equal to radius plus radius or two times of the radius. So you should know that. Now, for the area of a circle is equals to pi r square, which is the same as pi times r times r. Wait, what's pi? Pi is a special number which you can find in your calculator, which is also defined as 22 over 7 or 3.142 corrected to three decimal places okay so you if uh, when you are calculating for example I have got a circle and the radius is 7 so how do I calculate the area area equals to pi times 7 times 7 which is equals to 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 right cancel 1 cancel 1 and you get your answer whatever your answer is so that is how you calculate the area of a circle, pi r square or pi times r times r. Now moving on to the circumference, okay, I have the diameter, this is the radius, okay, circumference equals to 2 pi r or also equals to pi d. How, how do you relate these two? Do you, you realize that? Um, okay, to put it simply, this is pi times 2r and this is pi times d. Do you realize that 2r is equal to d, right? So, pi, 2 pi r or pi d. So, circumference, well, if my diameter is, let's just say it's 14, you should be able to tell me that my radius is 7. Okay, so uh, what's my circumference? You can take 22 over 7 times 14. Or you can also do 2 times 22 over 7 times 7. Or you can even change this to 3.142 and you will get sim. Why am I using 22 over 7 over here? Because I can cancel. 
right but if you use 3.142 you will get a similar answer just that this will be more accurate so that is how you find circumference of a circle okay a quick recap a very quick recap circle center radius diameter diameter equals to 2 times of the radius area is equals to pi times r times r which is a simplified as pi r square um, pi is known as pi obviously which is equal to 22 over 7 or 3.142 circumference is equals to 2 pi r or also known as pi d because again 2 r is equals to d now that's the area and perimeter now i i also uh, what if uh, before i get to the area perimeter and circumference part um what if i've got half a circle right this is half a circle uh, it's not really it doesn't really look half but it's half a circle and uh, i've got this radius as 14. so what's the diameter come on i know you know the answer yes very good it's 28. diameter is 28 because 2 times 14 right so how do you find the area well uh pi r square and then you divide by 2. how do you find the circumference 2 pi r and then you divide it by 2. what if it's a quarter of a circle right then you just divide your area and perimeter by 4 right so which whichever part of a circle it is you just divide it by that much and you should be able to get the answer now um if for example for this question over here right what if i ask you to find the circumference do take note that you are only supposed to find this part over here the curvy part that is the circumference of this uh semicircle however if i ask you to find the perimeter you are supposed to find the whole thing okay a lot of students make this mistake when they ask to find a the perimeter they only find the circumference when they ask to find the circumference they only find the perimeter and they lose marks and you know we all start crying because it ends there but okay let's get back to this so circumference again circumference is only the curvy part okay for this quarter circle where's the circumference yes you got it correct is the curvy part where's the perimeter the perimeter is this whole thing okay so that's the difference between the circumference and the perimeter of a circle if you're asked to find uh, any of the any of that and uh, yeah that's that that's the basic of circles you should be able to solve many of the questions that you have right now just remember do not get confused with the diameter and the radius a lot of students uh, you know they, they they are given the radius and they think it's the diameter or they are given a diameter they think it's the radius ask yourself what do you have and write down the information right write down very clearly radius equals to something so diameter equals to something and then write down that area equals to pi times r times r so make it very clear before you actually solve the questions because yeah a lot of students lose the marks because they mix up the radius and the diameter and it's not look it's not worth losing marks over there so that's it that that's it from me that's it from coach arjun from score campus if you have any questions do comment below and we will get back to you all right thank you take care have fun scoring bye bye